Well, new at five, while the opioid epidemic continues to speed out of control, treatment specialists in Westmoreland County are working on a new way to help addicts. Westmoreland County Bureau Chief Ross Gadotti has more on this new effort. If anyone thinks the numbers on opioid overdose deaths in Westmoreland County are improving, the news is not good. We're going to have 211 deaths in Westmoreland County this year. No, it's getting a lot worse. State numbers put the opioid-related overdose deaths in 2016 at more than 4,800. Because this is the biggest health, health, health crisis of our time. Uh, the numbers are staggering. That's Physician General Dr. Rachel Levine on hand at Excella Health Westmoreland Hospital. Dr. Levine there to hear about how the health care group is battling the war on opioid overdose deaths. What our hope is that we can immediately upon revival of the overdose victim provide them with an opportunity to involve themselves in treatment. It starts in the emergency room with an evaluation and a triggered diagnosis that's put into the hospital system. It's called a warm handoff from the emergency room or here in the ICU. The addiction victim is getting a lot more than just Narcan. It is a path to beating the addiction and not just treating another overdose. It's essentially a no wrong door policy. We move beyond the medical treatment, we move beyond the immediate crisis into what's going to happen next in order to help them down the road. Hailed as vital, the program will only help so much according to experts. That is until opioid pharmaceutical stewardship improves. We don't want people to suffer, but because of the opioid crisis in terms of overdoses, healthcare professionals have to learn to use them very carefully and judiciously. Dr. Levine said the methods being employed here to treat addicts may seem expensive, but they are a lot less expensive than treating someone over and over again for an addiction. And when it comes to the human cost, much less expensive than losing yet another life. In Greensburg, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.